my name is Melissa and I am an ESL teacher on ESL Teacher Guide, ESL Teacher, this website, and I wanted to share some wisdom that I've learned about teaching to other teachers and if you have any comments or advice please share with me because we always learn from each other, yes? Anyway, one thing that I found that really helped me become a better English teacher was learning another language. When I was, um, ever since I was actually a kid, I've been learning French from my mom because she actually is a French native speaker. She's bilingual. She speaks French and English. Um, she actually has a website of her own where she teaches French. Um, you can see that on the links on the side of my blog website. But anyway, I've been learning French a while, so that taught me a lot about how grammar looks. But to really understand how students feel, because I didn't learn French that well, I learned it, but I didn't, I couldn't really speak it that great, and it was actually bugging me for a while when I was a kid. But as I got into college, I learned French and I could actually speak it, and that was really good experience for me because when you learn another person's language, you go through the process, you go through the process that your students are going through, and you realize what they, what they need to do to to learn the language, and you're oftentimes. Um, sometimes you're more sympathetic and sometimes you're not. So it, it depends how you look at it because in one way you're sympathetic when your students maybe get sleepy or tired if you're teaching a really long time or you teach too much material you understand that they cannot handle too much material all at once or it might be very difficult for them to understand you if you're speaking all English if their level isn't up there because it takes a lot of brain processing to understand you and it makes them sleepy or they just don't know what you're saying and they ignore you or do other things in class. So <laughs> that's one thing that you can understand because you go through that. Another thing that you might understand is that you have to have a very strict regimen and you do have to give them vocabulary and practice time and give them time to practice speaking and listening and give them lots of input so that they can actually master the material. And if you're in a language class and you're too easy and you just kind of give them words, take a test, but you don't actually check and see if they understand the word when they hear it, or they can speak it, or you don't use it after you teach it, you don't use it in the classroom. You know, if you teach the classroom and you teach in their language and you don't teach in English, and you're teaching English, I, I, we actually have a school that I used to teach for Hawaii Literacy, and before us, another school was teaching English, and the teachers would teach English in Korean. They would speak Korean teaching English, which was kind of strange to me, so obviously their students didn't speak English very well. Um, so once you go through it, you realize that you do need a lot of time listening to the language that you're learning, and you need a lot of time practicing it. You need a very strict regimen where you can be tested and you can be reinforced with what you learned, and then you don't re forget it, but you review often, and you have a lot of time to go out and use it. So on the one hand, you become more lenient. On the other hand, you become more uh, disciplined. So when you go through a language class, you're really good well, with a good teacher, you, you will, you'll see that. And when you finally master another language, you'll understand what you have to go through, um, all the work it takes to finally master a language, which is pretty challenging. So I recommend if you are an ESL teacher and you haven't done so already to learn a foreign language, especially if you're living in a foreign country right now and you're teaching English in that foreign country, learn their language. Take language classes. Usually the school will pay for them for you um, or you can get students to teach you or you can find a tutor. The best way is probably to maybe take a class with other teachers or to find a tutor. Both are pretty good methods of learning another language. but. Good luck with that. Um, learning languages is a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy it. So that's probably why I enjoy teaching English and I enjoy learning other languages. I actually speak Chinese and I used to speak French. I can understand it. And if I try, I probably can speak it again. But it's a lot of fun and I hope to learn more languages too. And I'm interested in learning about you and what languages you know or want to learn or if you have any advice on this. I know depending on the language you learn, you learn different kinds of grammar too because languages are very diverse so I learned Chinese and I learned um, French which are very different um, in terms of their grammar but 
if you learned another language that you think is especially useful or especially challenging for some reason, please share. Um, I love hearing about languages. Thank you very much for visiting ESL Teacher and I wish you the best. Uh, thank you very much. Keep practicing your English. Have a